It is, after all, a way of life. I mean, for a lot of people, especially in the Hawaiian Islands, they, they love the water, and not even a shark's going to scare them away. Yeah, he had a very positive attitude. Yeah. yeah. All right. So weather, uh, it's going to be pretty warm today, and okay. it's going to stay pretty warm for the, at least the next couple of days. But by this weekend, things should get pretty nice. Mm. If you take a look at this live shot, you can see that there definitely are some clouds around those, the Treasure Valley. But there is not very much moisture, so we shouldn't expect to see any rain. However, those that clouds will stick with us for the next couple of days. Now, as we take a look at the satellite and radar, you can see that we do have a storm up here by Seattle. However, that's not going to affect us over here in Idaho. We are seeing a lot of clouds move across the state. And again, very cloudy skies. Those clouds will continue to stick with us until tomorrow, but then things should clear on up here soon. We had a high of 84 degrees today, so that's 10 degrees warmer than normal. <laughs> warmer than normal. Uh, tomorrow's going to be about 90 degrees, so it's going to continue to see that warming trend. We're going to have a low of 56 tonight, but record high of 98 degrees. We're not going to get anywhere near that. Sunset will be near 734 tonight. And right now around the area, temperatures are warming up. Uh, in Boise, it's about 80 degrees. Nampa, 77 degrees. Mountain Home, it's about the same. Then McCall, we can expect to see about 60 degrees. Obviously, we are having some technical difficulties with that graphic, but we'll fix that for you next time. Uh, future cast again tomorrow. We see nice, clear sky. We do have a couple little clouds over here, and as we fast forward until the weekend, again, we can see those clouds go across the state, and then conditions are going to remain relatively clear. Now let's take a look at your regional forecast. It's going to be sunny and warm tomorrow. Temperatures will be in the low 90s near Burley. As we make our way up north, we'll see temperatures slightly cooler. It's going to be about 82 degrees in Sun Valley, 87 degrees in Fairfield. As we head up north toward McCall, it's going to be about 81 degrees, slightly warmer in Riggins, where it's about 86. As we head down south towards Payette, 86 degrees over there as well. And then as we make our way into the Treasure Valley, we'll see temperatures almost near 90 degrees, 90 degrees in Cuna, 87 degrees in Nampa, about 88 in Caldwell. And then in Boise, temperature is going to be around 90 degrees as well. Mountain Home will be about 92 and then Idaho City 91. So sunny and warm until this weekend and then things are going to start to cool on down here soon. Saturday we'll see temperature about 85 degrees and Sunday things are going to cool on down to 83. By Monday we'll see temperatures in the high 70s and they should stay that way for the rest of the week. Mostly sunny skies. We have a little bit of clouds on Monday but they really shouldn't bring any moisture. Up in the mountains we'll see that same kind of trend. 81 degrees on Friday with some clouds. Those clouds will stick with us throughout the week. 75 degrees on Saturday, 74 on Sunday, and then low 70s by Monday and Tuesday. We'll even see temperatures about 66 degrees by Thursday, even though things will stay about mostly sunny. So those fall temperatures are definitely approaching us, even though we have been warm here for the past couple of days. Amazing. All those clouds, no raindrops. I know. It's nice. I'm not complaining. Okay. <laughs> All right.